Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to this slightly different video, a little bit of a, a tutorial. I've had a few comments in my current Euro 2020 PES 2021 simulation series asking how to do simulations. So I'm going to show you how I do it and maybe a couple of other ways that you could do it. So the way I'm doing it currently is just in the local match UEFA 2020. Now, when you get to this screen here, what you want to do is you can go the home or the away side. It doesn't matter really. It's up to you. You want to click triangle for the coach mode. Now, before, the teams were not updated and it was a pain in the ass. About a week into the competition, they finally uh, updated the teams with the live update. So you want to uh, hit the triangle for the coach mode, hit X, and now you'll see the live update. And it should mean that the squads are updated it seems to be i've only just noticed this tonight because before i've been having to edit the teams uh, in the editor so i want to go to england since i am english and england next play czech republic so let's see how accurate this is so for instance you can change the stadium now they don't have all the stadiums unfortunately and i don't know why that is that's a bit of a disappointment they have most of them but there's a few missing obviously this will be played at wembley so we can go wembley and it's at eight, eight o'clock so it'll be night time so if we go into the game plan you should see that yes it does appear that the live update is now working trippier's at left back that's from the first game it seems it's updating it sort of later on so i could change Kyle Walker for Reese James, who played in the last match, uh, if you wanted. Now, you can't change your opponent's lineup when you do it this way. So, but it looks like it is correct. So, I'm happy to report that it is finally working with the, uh, the, the live update, but it wasn't before. And as you can see, if we go into the match, it'll play as a simulation. So, yeah, here we go. I'm not touching anything. The only things you can control is because it's in coach mode, you can change the attacking. Uh, down in the bottom corner as you can see that's changing now in fact I might even bring that up just so that you can see that you can change all the instructions in the tactics as well but to be honest I pretty much leave it as it is uh, sometimes I'll react to what the the computers may be doing but I think to make this kind of neutral it's best to leave it alone um, if England were to concede here I probably would put them on more attacking but I tend to leave everything to be honest, I don't really touch it an awful lot, just because I want to see what the outcome uh, is. One thing I didn't mention was actually the general settings. Now, I have it set to top player because I found top player to be kind of like the most um, the most accurate for simulations. I find that if you go to superstar, no matter what team you play, they tend to just dominate the ball. And, and this kind of makes it a bit unbalanced. Uh, and then there's legend that I've not even touched yet, to be fair. But yeah, I usually leave my simulation... Uh, on top player oh and i also leave the condition on random you could be fair and put them all on mid form and that would make it even but it's just a personal choice for me now if you wanted to do the proper tournament all the way through with one team you could go to new cup and you go on the uefa euro 2020 now i don't know if you chose 24 participants I don't know if you could control all of the, the teams that way. I've not tested that out. That would be interesting to see. But if you just want to use one, again, we'll go England. There you go. All the groups are correct. So to do the coach mode on the tournament, basically forward time. But you have to do it here in the participant settings. You want to click on that and you want to whack triangle to get coach mode on. And then that way it's going to be simulated again. One final way that I think you could do it is you could have two players. If I go and log in as a guest. Now normally I don't do this because it wrecks your um, kits that you put in. But I believe because this is fully licensed it shouldn't be a problem. So for instance we'll pick these teams again. And that way you can make individual changes now to both teams. So a player two can, can change the Czech team around. So for instance, if you wanted to bring in uh, 
this player holes or Kufal, you can do that swap same for obviously you've got player one but as long as you've got two pads you can do this if you're on your own you can make changes necessary and that should be a way of doing it if you want to control both teams again i'm on just on the exhibition version of it now so now because it is across two players and they're both on uh, coach mode or yeah on coach mode you can leave it everything on the the flat gray attacking uh, so there's not going to be any variation in that so those are a couple of ways to play uh, the euro 2020 in a simulated fashion on pez 2021 hopefully i've covered all of that as i say i've had a few comments asking about how to do this uh, if there's anything that i've missed or anything you'd like to ask just ask in the comments uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's helpful to you and uh, make sure to subscribe to see all of my simulation matches in Euro 2020, PES 2021.